Hello and welcome to this session. In this video, I want to show you an interesting Lombok annotation that helps to detect null pointer exceptions at earlier stage, namely when the application has started up. So let's start. For our demo, we will use this simple example. It consists of two classes, the task runner that implements the renable interface it provides the run so the work will be done here and the server class that depends on the task runner has this dependency to task runner it means that some sometimes we have to provide this dependency when you see here this field is defined it is usually the case that you have to define this field as final because final variable cannot be rebound to reference another object so they must be initialized at creation time so when we change this to final you see the compiler complains and require us to add it to the constructor or we can also provide the object here in the static constructor in our demo, we will define the constructor task runner. This is my constructor. And what we can do now in the main, we can define our class server, server, server we instantiate the class with the unique available constructor because we define it one with one argument so which object should we use here so let's try with null and see the compiler doesn't complain everything is okay we can even start this you see it works no problem at all However, this is not uh, very useful for us. Our goal is to detect such a problem when injecting dependency. We should be aware that, that the dependency is null. We, we, we have to, to cover this. We have to, to be able to detect that. And for that, we will just try to test this code. I added here this unit test. And you see, I am just catching the exception and this will fail if the instantiation of the object of the class doesn't throw any exception so let's run this code and we see we see it fails the just creation of the server with a null object doesn't throw any error how can we solve this maybe one solution would be to add some code to our constructor for example, we can check whether the task runner is null, then we can throw an exception. Other possibility maybe is to use this object task. We add this, for example, this code, and this will throw an exception. Let's try it again. And you see, the test succeeds but uh, this is not a good style we cannot change our code to make the code testable and this is a superfluous not required maybe you don't have the possibility to do that there is another elegant way with using lombok you can annotate this field with this annotation and let's try now so we have added this annotation the expectation that somehow when creating this object when providing this object to the server it will it would be checked whether this object null is or not so let's see if it will work let's see now uh, it doesn't work and this because this annotation alone doesn't do any additional work you have to use the generated constructor provided by Lombok. And for that, you have to annotate your class here with required args constructor. And if you do that, there is a conflict. 
it tell you you need to delete this constructor and you see now no error what does this annotation is just generate a static constructor and it is wrapped in a normal constructor and inside this constructor it checks whether all final fields are not null are provided with a valid value let's try now we run the test again and you see it succeed this time too as well so using Lombok it is easier you need only to annotate your class your fields and everything works i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching and bye